indefinite articles are weird. We say a historic day and an historic day. So when do we use a and when do we use an? Let's take a closer look. So in this video, first we're going to look at when we use an and when we use a. Then we'll look at how you can learn them. And finally, we'll look at a couple of key phrases that you can start using right now. When do we use a and when do we use an? We use a with a consonant sound, including the y y sound. For example, a dog, a zoo, a yellow car, a house, and a uniform. We use an with a vowel sound. Now that's easier for words like an umbrella, but with vowel sounds, when the letter is a consonant, we still have to use an, like an hour, an honest man, or an honor. Some of you probably noticed that the H is there and that H is a consonant. Sometimes the H consonant sounds like a vowel at the beginning of a word. It's just something we have to get used to. If we look closer at U and H, we can see some differences. An umbrella, but a uniform. An hour, but a hot day. A really strange one here is an historian or a historian. So the H is a little weird. We'll say an hour because in hour, H has a vowel sound, but in a hot day, H is a consonant sound. So we use a. Now, some words get a little messy. We have an historic day or a historic day. In that situation, you'll hear both of them, and either one is fine. Finally, we have letters. When we say the letter in isolation, it's going to depend on the first sound of the letter. For example, we have an A and a B. But then we have a consonant like F, so it's an F, because the first sound is an E vowel sound, an F. Now, depending on what country you're in, you may hear a H or an H. Both of these can be correct. Other examples might be an S or an X. Now, of course, I don't expect you to try and remember all of these rules, but if you want a reference, click the link below and get the downloadable. The downloadable has all kinds of information on how and when to use indefinite articles. Check it out. Now, let's look at some situations where we use the indefinite article, starting with only one. This one's pretty easy. Sometimes we use a or an instead of the word one, like in, I'd like an apple. I'll have a cappuccino. Or I bought a book. The next one is pretty similar, but a bit more abstract. Let's take a look at numbers and measurements. I won a hundred dollars. A million people live in that city. It cost a pound. I bought a kilo of apples. These ones are almost exactly the same. We use a or an instead of one. But it can be a little bit different with measurements. For example, it cost five dollars a kilo. The train comes twice a day. I do it three times a year. In this case, a is replacing the word per, like I do it three times per year. But more often, we would just say a. Uh. Types and kinds. Now, this one's a very, very broad category. Here at E2, we actually have a 30-page document that goes into very fine detail about all the articles and how and when to use them. 
But that's too much for this video. Here, we've condensed it down into a small number of situations. In these examples, I'm speaking quite generally. I'm talking about characteristics and qualities. An architect is a person who designs buildings. A good teacher must be a good student. Mark is an amazing teacher. That's a very important sentence in English. A dog is a domestic animal. He's a Canadian. She's a Buddhist. He's a liberal politician. You're a good person. It's a Shakespeare play. It's a Picasso. Don't worry. You don't have to understand or try to remember all of this today. In fact, I don't want you to. Grab the downloadable from below and start making your own sentences using these ideas. Maybe tell me about your favorite movie. Uh, Jaws is a Steven Spielberg movie. Or your favorite food. Fishwada is a rice dish from Brazil. Let's take a look at the next one. First mention. I looked up and saw an airplane. The airplane flew low over the city and towards the airport. So the first time we mention something or the first time we talk about it, we'll usually use the indefinite article, a or an. But to be honest, we don't usually talk like this, where we introduce it and then we say the airplane. We usually just say it. I watched a movie yesterday. It was awesome. I bought a new jacket. Isn't it cool? Okay, so you've had all these very technical and serious ones. Let's do one that's a little bit more fun. With what and such. To show surprise and emotion, we can add a or an after what or such. Let's take a look. What a surprise. What an interesting story. It is such a good movie. I had such a good day. Okay, let's look at another nice, easy one. Pairs. A pair of pants. A pair of glasses. A pair of scissors. Okay, let's look at one more. Illnesses and conditions. We often use the indefinite article with certain illnesses and conditions. I caught a cold. I've had a toothache all night. I have a stomachache. I have a broken leg. I have a broken heart. I have a sore throat. Or he had a stroke. So notice that we're not using articles with specific illnesses that have been given specific names. It's not a diabetes or a COVID. How do we use indefinite articles? All right, so in the comments below, I want you to tell me about you. I want you to tell me about a movie you really enjoyed. Or a day you'll never forget. Tell me a little bit more about you. All right, everyone, thank you very much for watching. That's all for today. Uh, please grab that downloadable from down below so that you can start practicing and improving your use of indefinite articles today. My name is Mark, and I'll see you next time.